Okay, back by popular yeah, back by popular demand and my own curiosity, we're gonna do this. Now, if I check the map, can I see what this does? Threat. I lose 50 souls. Alright, we're not going that direction. We're just going straight up. Yeah, I want to finish this run at the very least. I don't know if I'm gonna do more of this game, but I do enjoy I, I did enjoy it a lot more than I thought I would. It just keeps going. That's the thing that blows my mind. Like, I'd play an RPG that plays like this, but a roguelike, it, I start questioning things. Lockbridge. Completing this event, cool. So here's the thing. Ooh. Getting her ruffian is not a bad idea. Because she's got the great social stats, and she gets this extra demonic essence for clearing things. And that extra physical damage is no slouch plus the extra HP. Yeah, let's do this. Half buried at the foot of a tree, your disciple discovers the bones of an unnatural creature. You, re you recognize it. This beast is one of your creations. You dispatched it to lay waste to the region before your exile. After all these years, the demon hunter has finally defeated it. But even dead, it can still prove useful. It's time to revive the nightmare. The beast. The beast's bones still exude power. Bloody Mary can harness that power and put it to new uses. Animate the skeleton, extract the power, invoke the soul of the beast. Eh, let's just go with the easy one. And we some water. Yeah, free essence. Bloody Mary animates the beast skeleton and sends it to track the demon hunters. Its soul may, may have moved on to other realms, but its bones still remember who dealt its final ah, blows. Screams of terror. Such sweet music to my ears. Okay. So, if I go left for the shop, we get a trade. Uh, let's see, if we go middle, we get essence, and to the right, another trait. Question is really, what are we looking for? Souls rotten. I have a lot of souls, so we should probably do that. And she gets ruffian, we don't have any reactions. Let's take a... Oh, no, that's way up there. So, the one thing is, we've already got a Grim Reaper here. Ooh, but I could leave an, a card with the Grim Re Reaper and get them upgraded by, by doing that. That's a temptation. That's a very real temptation. We got a fight up ahead, so we'll see what we got. I, I'll consider it once we get up there, but I think I won't determine what I want to do until I hit that Grim Reaper. Your disciples observe numerous footprints in the no mud, and it's gone. The Prince of Hell. Okay. Uh, let's see. So, upon arrival in the zone, we lose ten max max essence, ten max max essence, or. All disciples begin combat with the skill locked for four turns. See, that I can work with. Probably. Probably. This we will see. This cemetery reeks of carrion. What a delicious smell. I mean, this would be great to give him some HP, but giving her two physical damage? Ooh. Ruse. What is her ruse? It is six. Nobody has a better ruse, though. A murder of crows attracts your attention. As you get close, the birds fly away to reveal a half-devoured body of a man. Bloody Mary leans over the corpse to examine it. Identify... Uh... Let's get down to business. Uh, soon? The I'm just gonna identify the body. The start. Now the mortal... A quick perusal of the body tells Bloody Mary that he was a Sanctua Lumen fanatic. His belongings have been purified and are of no interest to you. That was fun. Shall we do it again? Okay. Destroy the corpse and all of its possessions. Or expose the corpse for your enemies to see. I like that. Bloody Mary drags the corpse to the side of the road and impales it on wooden stakes like a macabre scarecrow. When the mortals see one of their protectors in this pitiful state, they'll realize that nothing and no one can protect them Soon from evil. the humans will all bow down before me. Okay. That's in three nights. Do we just double this up? Oof. I'm really going to have to consider those. Screamers. Either they stack, and there's two fear, effe uh, fear effects there, or not. I don't know. Your hold over the world of mortals These is growing. These relics are potent High. enough to contain my power. At the beginning of each turn, holder recharges or cursed helmet I do not want. Each time a disciple makes a combatant vulnerable, their skills are recharged. Oh, that's really good. And Hoovel. Okay. Ter another terror effect, two skills. We gotta go for the skills. 
that's the biggest thing that I'm suffering from is that I'm, I'm, I'm not particularly sorry, skilled at the moment. It seems your time has come. All right, this should be fine. What so Bloody Mary. Now I could reduce their effects. Oh, and I have no way of making them bleed. We're just gonna hit her. Uh, but that's less damage than I was hoping for. Provocation. Nah, let's just do the bleed. I'm parched. So in retrospect, maybe it won't matter that much. And we don't have anything else to do. But you're not going to be able to mess me up. Yeah, unfortunately, they've got the, uh... They've got a shield. Aegis. What game are we playing? Okay, they're just aiming for I kill? him. Well, in that case, do we do shell? Or do we... Yeah, let's do on guard. On guard. Just reduce the damage he takes a bit. Uh, let's see, do we do a twist of fate? Sure. <laughs> We're just gonna kinda dud run I'm this, uh, punched. dud round this one. Bloodlust. There we go. We'll hit her better on the next round. You don't hold okay, he's got a migraine. I'll do likewise. Okay, so that makes his SP related like skills worse. Luckily, I don't care about those. Like I said, I don't care about those. There Just we go. The kind of bloodbath I enjoy. We scale very nicely. Oh, but we have another wave. But we scale very nicely. So let's take a look at these guys. They're a bit tough. Maybe I'm tougher than I'm ready to deal master. with. But I, I mean, what else am I going to do? Okay, and they've got... Who should I kill? They've got that. Now, I do have Burst of Anger. Yes. Okay. Good time for Burst of Anger? Sure. And I have to hit this guy. And we only have one. That's a bit tragic. Because I think they're doing some kind of buff or debuff thing. Yeah, what does Depression do? Okay, Depression. Ah, lose SP. Sentencing. Upon expiration, 50 damage. Oof. Ouch. Okay, that's a problem. But only a moderate one. Because really it boils down to this guy. So how do we want to do this? Because I could do an on guard. I don't think we're going to be able to do enough damage to kill him, which is the one unfortunate part. Hmm. Because if I do a provocation, that means he he's fine. Okay. And if I do a mirror blade, I should be able to kill him. Nope, didn't. That's funner. It's fine. Hmm. Taking one down, passing it around, we're good. Gotta be careful, though. Oh. Okay. He's vulnerable. I. He cripes? Huh. Well, that's a problem. I'm parched. I mean, I could potentially just try and wombo combo. Let's get down to business. Oh gosh. If you want something done right, do it yourself. Okay, so here's a problem. Dracula's max SP is bad. 
is like what really bad. Game are we playing? Now I'm a little low on juice. But I could try and do is just eat it. I just don't think there's anything I can do about it. That's the big problem. Okay, so we're still going to take 22. Unless I do an introspection. And then, oh, I can't do an on guard. I can do a faint, but it's not enough. I shall reforge the world in my image. Wait. Oh. I don't like this situation. Problem solved. I don't know how this happened. Alteration. How did I mess him up? Was it faint? No. I legitimately have no idea how that happened. Uh, but I'm not about, I am not about to look that gift horse in the mouth. Unfortunately, that was not helpful. What game are we playing? Ah, shoot. I'm listening Did we just faster. hit him again? Yeah, that's okay. I've already scaled enough. Okay, so he's been sentenced. Okay, and we need to boogie a little bit on our damage. Oh, you that just kills him. Perfect. Who me. Whew. That is tough. This is why we need those skills bad. The mortal, simple mortal trinkets. Okay, self-discipline is good. Them. No, we gotta go for Mirror Blade. Because we're really trying to Take buff up the can. skills that we have. Deadly Gash is great. Recharge the depleted skill with the highest AP costs. It's not bad. Or five bleeding. Oh, it's five bleeding, but it's it's cheap. I'm still gonna give her deadly gash. Choose quickly. Evil will not spread by itself. Wicked cast, do we? Finally, I'm gonna take nothing on that. that. What else the we got? Human. On guard, finally. Now, does that make it last longer? Yes. And I work am better. pleased with these offerings. Take them. Okay, now I'm pretty sure he's already got a faint, yeah? He does. Perfect. Choose quickly. Because if we can get one more of those, then we can combine it. Okay. It's not amazing. Oh. No, it does. Alteration. Reduce the target's base damage before multiplying or dividing until the start of the next turn. This skill applies an alteration of... Ooh, that's... That's why. I am pleased with these offerings. Take them. Okay. So... Use of this skill ends the turn. Oh. These are tough. So Dullahan's seal does a ton of damage and applies silence. I'm not against it. There we go. That should work. All right, we've got tons of souls so we can go visit the Grim Reaper. Let's see, Circle of Rights, completing this activity. I think it's the usual one, just interact with Grim Reaper, get stuff. In a secret meeting place, hidden from mortals, your disciples meet with the Grim Reaper. Time to do business. Ah, a conductor of souls. All those innocent souls I harvested will finally be of use. Okay, so here's the problem. Oh no, perfect. 
This way these fuse together. I am pleased with these offerings. Take okay. them. Now, unless I'm mistaken, she's already got one mirror blade. Yeah, so if I grab the other mirror blade, we Take have a chance of getting a can. golden one. Can only target the adversary with least HP. That's kind of fine. I think I'm going to grab this, though. And we're just going to replace stabbing. Okay. Now I can leave something... Well, what else do we have? Buff max HP and SP, but it reduces my max Diabolic Essence. That's okay. Holder earns plus 2 damage for each of their depleted skills. Every time an enemy dies, gain extra bitterness. I mean, this is really solid. Okay, let's take a look at Dracula. So the problem is he, he suffers a little bit from weak business. He's not terrible, and I don't mind him as he is, but he could be better. We might also want to just... here. I still got some money. Let's go with her. I'm going to leave Deadly Gash. And we're just going to quit. Because I think we're going to go see the Grim Reaper again fairly soon. Probably. Let's actually check the map. What do we have? Yes, both of them will give me a bonus. Okay, so this gets me a, uh, extra Essence and a trait. Essence... Trait or double... Oh, shoot. Um, I mean, it's very clear that we're going to be doing other things. I think I'm going to go to the right. Because we get a free trait and we get a bunch of stuff. And we can head for the Sacrificial Altar. Which will not have any, any bad perks. Sure, I missed out on that one Grim Reaper, but you know what? We'll see another one. I'm sure. My disciples arrive at the sanctuary. There they discover a priest who no longer preaches. He tells them that he took part in the creation of a monster who then returned to dispossess him of his inspiration, Caleb. We offer him a chance to take his revenge on his creature. He accepts. My disciples, on the pretext of making a trap, Take one of his hairs and ask for a fragment of Caleb. He gives them a bit of the wood used in his making. The two elements of the ritual secure inside the puppet. My disciples and the priest go their separate ways. The latter leaves for the town of New Florentine to find Caleb, and my servants set off for an abandoned farm. Nightmare is only beginning. Oh boy. Um I need Finally. to look at that. Cuz that's that's really good. So this gives me a trait, essence and discount. Double number of souls. Oh, souls to be one. So if I want a bunch of souls, Or I get a devil power. That suddenly kind of changes things around a bunch. Does it? Because what it can do is go here. Yeah, we're going to the left. Because we get a trait and we potentially like get a whole Ooh, bunch of skills. Going, do something. And then we warp over to the... To install. Then we warp over to the altar instead. I'm surprised any humans were able to survive the fetid vapors of this swamp. Okay, Diabolic Essence, get tons. Grim Reaper. So we get our skill back, hopefully. Okay. 
Choose quickly. Deadly gash has been Evil upgraded. Ah, I don't think there's an upgrade the past that. Souls. Perfect. All those that is so souls I harvested will finally be of use. And I'm going to assume that that's max I am rarity. Pleased with these offerings. Take them. Okay, deplete the skill with the lowest AP cost, or another twist of fate. Gosh, I don't know. I think I'm going to go for a second twist of fate. Okay, so what do we have here? HP losses? Nah. After each Styx Fountain, earn 50 souls, or... Every negative trait you purge, discover two skills. That's pretty good. What else do we have? Because I have a burst of anger. That's he that's better than the one we have. It's also just that. What does he have? Three decomposition. Oh, survival instinct. If Dracula is vulnerable, double the effects. And that's really good. And what do we want to grab? Because if we look at Dracula, he doesn't have the best of stuff. I'd be tempted to get rid of Bloodlust just because it's not actually that helpful. Or even Fury Fang. Fury Fang has a little bit of lifesteal, which is good though. Because I'm, I'm holding on to another Bleeding Heart in hopes of just getting a free upgrade. Because yeah, this, this scales really well, gives him a nice double hit, really nice double hit. That's a nice double hit for the whole enemy team. The only problem is it costs three. It's a little iffy. Alright, let's grab that. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get rid of Bloodlust. If we find a better Bloodlust, I'll do it. And do I wanna I could also leave a skill. And I, I could straight up just leave Fury. Go for the full upgrade. Let's see, for her, we're just waiting for another mirror blade. Not really a whole lot of reason to leave anything. With him, I could leave I could leave Slash. I don't care too much for Slash. Yeah, let's just leave Slash. Like it's good, don't get me wrong. But I don't need it immediately. And hold up. He has an opening. I could try and go for this and uh, hope I get a second one. Let's do it. Worst comes to worst, we get rid of that blast to replace this one. Because I'm I'm not going to be using that that much. Okay, I think that's good. Expensive, but works out in my favor. It's high time I interfered. Okay, then we want to warp over to the sacrificial altar. The only limit to my power is my imagination. Oh, which I can actually use on the Dullahan. Now that I'm thinking about it. At your disciples' approach, a pile of rocks seems to come alive. Okay, it's the usual one. Boop. When I give, go here. I get rid of this. It's good. I like it. However, don't need it that bad. Choose quickly. Evil will not spread by itself. And I don't really like any of these. Souls rot. So I'll just take the money. Okay, doesn't seem to have anything cool, but that's fine. And we're good. Haunted Mansion. Okay, two fights, or do we go for the terror effect? I like the skills, though. Because the more skills I get, the better off we're going to be. These enemies are getting a lot tougher, which is a bit of a doozy. But maybe that's not a big deal. Okay, so that ends the turn. So let's do I'm other things first. Master. 
Now, the one thing is, she has an Aegis. Oh. What game are we playing? Let's see. Eh, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to apply to both. And then let's silence them. Have permission to die. Okay, so we get bitterness. But yeah, we, we blocked them from doing anything fun. Who should I kill? Okay, and now this got a little dicier. What game are we playing? But not like overwhelmingly so. No, we did. This is gonna hurt. At their end of their turn. Lack discipline. Okay, cool. So we can just kill this guy. And she is just going for the dull hand. Now... I'm not going to do enough damage. So I could I could do the on guard and take like nothing. Yeah. I'm just going to do that. That didn't work to the extent that I was hoping it would. Okay, so he's vulnerable. Uh, we'll make it work. What game are we playing? <laughs> yeah, they're getting tougher. Humans are so Which is kind of the worry. Let's see. Let's hope these guys don't go for morale damage. They're probably going to. Nope. Right, okay, we're good. Every time the holder heals... A combatant, t plus two to all. Ooh. Okay, Captain and Diva, they're both kind of rough. We have a Dullahan seal, though. Okay, what does I he have? Because that matters a little. Okay, so he's going to do faint, which actually works really well. Okay, did we apply the bleeding? Yeah. Okay, there's the bleeding. There's the faint. So now she does like nothing. And I'm gonna do decomp on her. There we go. Cause that's just three damage. Now what does what does wall do? Damage suffered by half. Okay, dicey. Uh, not too big of a deal. And we do have a silence if we want to mess with that. It's tempting. Are we playing? I want to now here's a question. Can I double Twist of Fate? I think I can. He's got nothing, so let's do rallying. Darkness makes me strong. Everybody gets their stuff back, and we can do a faint makes her weak. Okay. Oh, uh, we are bleeding. That's unfortunate. And those are thorns. What do thorns do? Uh, we'll be okay. Who should I kill? I'm parched. What game are we playing? Okay, so I think we want to we want to aim for the captain. Can I not? Do I have to? Oh, it's bloodthirsty. That's what it is. Yeah, they're all bloodthirsty. So she has to wail on the diva. That's fine. You lack discipline. Might as well just kill her. There we go. Nothing for you, nothing for, nothing to worry about. Okay. And the captain is on her own. You're going to do 24 damage. That would be a worry if it was actually dangerous to me. Bleed for me. 
and then I should be able to just hit her once. Perfect. Those who do not submit must die. Yeah, we're doing well. I, the enemies definitely get spookier and scale better than I do. Simple but yeah, I don't know. Trinkets. You'd better find a use for them. Let's see. Apply one dodge. I don't care for any of these. Scream as simple mortal trinkets. You'd better Two find exhaustion. For them. Remove protection. That might not be bad. The only immediate problem is I'm not sure if Dracula has this space for it. We could get rid of a Fury Fang for it and not have it be the end of the world. I, I like that a lot. We're not using Fury Fang that much. But being able to remove buffs seems good. Hey, Muddy Farm. Uh, yes? I mean, like, the rest of these are good, but this is just going to continuously make her ridiculous. A strange traveler playing a flute crosses paths with your disciples. Behind him is an obedient column of rats and transpires music. Oh. The flautist power seems to emanate from the instrument. Bloody Mary could easily absorb it, but the rats might be a problem. She, she doesn't take care of them first. Force the rats to revolt against their master. I feel my... Bloody Mary easily breaks the spell of the flute's primitive magic, fleeing the, freeing the rats from their mental prison. The horde attacks its former master and devours him. When the creatures finally leave, his bones have been licked clean. Bloody Mary just has to pick up the flute and With absorb that, its power. The humans will finally They're submit all pretty bad, to my yoke. We're looking for the good stuff, and none of that is the good stuff. However, she gets stronger. Okay. So this would give her extra max health and two scare. Two scare and max health, or just a lot of health. Yeah, let's just keep buffing her up. In half a, in half a sleep, travelers, wait, in ha what? In half a sleep, travelers, your disciples meet a vampire who seems to be running away from something. You there, you look like you could help me. I need to escape from the Sanctuary Lumen. Erase my tracks and I'll compensate you ha handsomely. Foiling the sanctual lumen is tempting, but the vampire's impertinence angers you. It's as if he doesn't recognize your disciples. He's certainly hiding something. Helping this vampire escape won't cost you anything. And you're intrigued by his offer of a reward, but Bloody Mary would rather unravel a secret and put it's him in his place. Time I interfere. Sure, why not? It cost me nothing. I feel my... While pretending to help the insolent vampire, Bloody Mary convinces him to talk about himself and obtains his identity. He's not a vampire at all, but a former hireling of the Sanctuary Lumen. When, he, when she learns of this, your disciple throws herself on him to slit his throat, but the fake vampire just laughs. Go ahead and kill me. I know you won't succeed. I've discovered the secret to immortality. That's why the Sanctuary Lumen is looking for me. They're the ones who asked me to find the formula. Now they want their due. You see, the main ingredient is a human heart from a victim of the White Plague. They forced me to contaminate so many innocent people. They don't deserve this knowledge, and I don't deserve immortality. And his life. Uh. After testing several lethal spells, Bloody Mary finally composes one that can reverse the effects of immortality. Instead of living forever, the false vampire dies so quickly he doesn't even have the time to realize what's happening. Nothing left to do but go through his pockets and find the reward he promised you. Your disciple finds some vials containing a blood red liquid. It must be his elixir of immortality. Bloody Mary can either try to figure out its secrets or drink it and gain the advantage. Learn? Drink. Learn, drink. Uh, drink it. Bloody Mary swallows the contents of the vials one by one. You feel your strength regenerating I through feel her. My ah. At my age, I'm very hard to impress. Congratulations. Thanks, but I still prefer my dagger. Magic doesn't spill enough blood. Intriguing. Ooh. And that comes with another perk. That should make her tanky. Alright. And we're good. Elite combat. Your disciples observe numerous footprints in the mud. As they approach, they can sense the forces of good have been preparing for the their arrival. Will pay for that. 
Yeah, it's actually kind of rough. That. <laughs> this is weird. I don't actually really like walking around the world here. It doesn't really help that much. Kill them all. Okay, we have an Avenger. Okay. Anticipation. Reduce damage suffered by the Black Avenger. When remove okay. So I think we want to make Well, we could do the silence. So the question is Do we go for the bleed? Take the SP damage? Yes. Oh, and this is going to mess her up real bad. Who should I kill? I'm just going to go for the opening. We just take nothing. That's the easiest I'm answer here. Master. Okay, then we want to hit the captain. The Avenger is just too tanky and it's going to be hard to punch, punch through that anyway. Okay, migraine is fine. What game are we playing? Okay. So here's the question. How many bitterness does he have? He's only got two. It's fine. Here, I'm going to do a twist of fate. Okay, that heavily reduces the damage. It's still gonna hurt. I've still got three. I guess I could do an on guard. Reduce it further. And just hit her. We will be fine. I don't necessarily know what the Avenger is doing. He's just mostly making me depressed. Or giving me a headache. Which is really silly. Because it doesn't really help too much. Okay. Do we? Yeah. The blade is sharpened to We're good. And then, yeah, the Avenger just still kind of exists. Unless, of course, this is... Interesting. So he just got bad. Unsurprisingly. Okay, so I think at this point we want to do something different. I'm going to just nerf him. And... I guess I'm going to faint him. Doesn't really help too much, unfortunately. But it's fine. He's got the mirror on him. I totally forgot about the mirror. Okay, and he's just doing debuffs. Perfect. Uh, do we do... Nah. Let's just hit him. Yeah, unfortunately, the mirror does not actually work for me. Oh, these are all depleted. Well, shoot. End turn. Nah, I could have done that better. Let me guess. Another migraine? Another migraine. This fool does not really understand tactics here. Here. I think that should just kill him. Yeah? It's so yeah, easy. There it goes. It's almost boring. Why was that like the easiest fight ever? <laughs> now okay. The These Essence? relics will only make our conquest more bloody. Perfect. Every time you kill one enemy, you earn six souls at the end of combat. Let's go for that. I'd like the 20% gain, but I think that might be better. I could be wrong. Okay, I'm also going to say this is going to keep going for a while. Holy shit, yeah, these stories are immense. Like, problematically so. So I guess I will see you guys on the next episode of uh, Rogue Lords. I, this might just be a, a, a one-off se uh, one series, you know, just a, a one-book series, and I come back later, or maybe we play more, I don't know. But seeing as people liked it, and I'm enjoying it, we might as well keep going. So for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.